Pretty good. Definitely uh, more familiar with uh, Kittles, Darren Walls, and all that. Just be, to be able to create a mismatch in uh, the passing game and not only be able to be a mismatch in the passing game, not knowing what people are or are involved in the run game as well as the end, being that all around mismatch. Yeah, so at Coastal, y'all run the run-and-shoot offense. You know, it's a high-powered offense, one of the most exciting ones in uh, college football this year. How do you think that really helped you prepare for the NFL, you know, regardless of what team you go to? Uh, definitely showing that you know you can put me anywhere. I can be split out. I can be in the slot and I can be in line. So having all that tools in the toolbox and the route tree as a receiver and all, having all the inline blocking inside in position. So what's the one thing that you really wanted to work on here in Mobile? You know, around all this talent and uh, you know high name guys. Is there one thing in particular you really want to sharpen in your game this week? Uh, definitely showing that uh, I can block. Uh, Defensive lineman, been uh, harping on that at the whole week of Mobile and showing that uh, nobody can come to me one on one. You know, it's still early, but you know, the first day is out of the way. How do you feel? You get the nerves out, you feel confident yeah. about everything? At the end of the day, it's just football, so I ain't really have nerves. It was just, you know, just getting around football again, just putting a smile on my face. I appreciate it. I said, Sean's up. Can I get you older now? Awesome. All right. When it comes to who you are off the field, how would you describe kind of your off field demeanor, what you like to do outside of football and things like that? Uh, off the field, I'd say like I'm a joy to be around. I make everybody laugh. That's one of my mottos. Uh, I always try and put a smile on everybody's face and really try to always learn football. There's always something to learn on the field as well as off the field. Gotcha. Okay, and then this week, what are some things that you're trying to prove, trying to show to improve your draft stock? Really showing that I can inline block with the best of them. I mean, tight end position, not only you have to catch the ball, you got to be able to run block. So just showing that against the best of the best. Okay. I see the chain. Is it anything significant to you, that number four? <laughs> I've been playing football since I was four years old, so that's really why I went number four. Okay. Got you. All right, and then going forward, what are some of your goals, things that you've set out for yourself when you get to the league, things that you want to accomplish? Uh, you, really in the league, trying to make the 53-man roster and be an impactful starter. Uh, whoever gets me is going to get everything I got day in and day out. Okay. And with the Coastal program, what do you think has been the key or what's been behind the rise of that program, not just in your conference, but on a national scale? Really just the chemistry we built. Uh, the brotherhood and foundation, we, our seniors left, show the younger guys that as long as you guys take care of each other, as long as you guys will be able to fight or, or die with one another on that football field, you're going to win a lot of games because at the end of the day, it comes down to that fight. Okay, and my final question for you. When you bring that program to a national level like you have and you're a part of that group, how are you going to look back on that and remember your time at Coastal? Uh, you always going to smile when you realize all the hardship that you've been through, especially in my beginning years at Coastal, not being as well known as, you know, media attention. But when you look back at last 2020 and 2021 season, you realize all the hard work that you did early on paid off. Okay, thank you. Anytime, Appreciate your time. All right, good luck.